Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to pick up right where we left off. It has actually only been a few seconds since I left in the last episode. Uh, we left off here in Family uh, Jin, or Zen, uh, and we have been exploring. So we explored all the way out to as far northwest as we could go on the map here and found Emperor's Pride, which uh, used to be a split system, then it was taken over by the Paranid, and then it was taken over by the Xenon, so currently uh, the Xenon have that place locked down. And um, we discovered uh, Wretched Skies, Xyarth pa Patriarchy, and a couple more Paranid systems on the way out uh, towards those systems. Um, so, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start here uh, in Family Jin, I guess that's how you pronounce that, and let's uh, read the lore here. Uh, ruled at the time by the Patriarch Dioc, this sector was plunged into a state of perpetual turmoil during the Jump Gate shutdown. Ambitious lesser families used the fact that Dioc was cut off from the Patriarch of all Split's main domain to their advantage and staged a siege on the Regent Patriarch's seat of power. They cho chose to starve him out because Dioc's defenses were heavily fortified. To the besiegers, it was apparent that a direct attack on the station would lead to severe casualties on both sides and was not a certain victory. But eventually they grew restless and bored, and the patriarch family of Jin, leader of the revolt, feared that his coup would soon lose momentum, so he stepped up to the challenge the regent uh, stepped up to challenge the regent to single combat in order to end the stalemate. Worried that he would dishonor himself and lose the support of the remaining loyal split families, Patriarch Dioc had no choice but to accept. The duel was swiftly carried out and resulted in Zin assuming control. When the jump gates reconnected and Jin was approached by Patriarch Zyath, he was initially hesitant to relinquish sovereignty, but soon realized that his military would not stand a chance against the combined forces of the Patriarch Zyath and Newt. Cautious not to repeat his predecessor's arrogant mistake, he yielded to Patriarch Zyath to maintain a modicum of authority and power within the patriarchal structure. Interesting. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and see. I'm I'm almost positive there's going to be a gate down here going into that Xenon sector. Um, so let's start exploring these stations here and, you know, doing the usual and seeing if we can find any other gates leading out of this sector somewhere else as we continue exploring here. All right. Looks like there's lots of... Oh, actually, I, I already see a gate off our port side. Uh, so there is definitely another gate up there. Hopefully it's not an inactive gate. Um, kind of a neat sector. It's purple in color. It's got, looks like it's got plenty of asteroids. I don't remember the Xyarth Patriarchy at all in the old game, so I don't know if that's new to X4 or if I just don't remember it. Not sure. Let's fly by and get all these stations uncovered. One out here too. It looks like a, probably an ice planet. Yep, there's a gate right there. Okay, let's take a look at the map. We're down on this end. Um, let's go ahead and squirt off a scan in this direction. And we'll also Okay. This is probably the gate going to the Xenon sector would be my guess, but it might not. We'll see. It might be a different gate going somewhere else. Because it seems to me like that, the other gate would have been further south, but you never know for sure. Jump gate. Unknown sector. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Yeah, my guess is that that probably goes further to the to the east. Let's just pop through it, but we're going to come back here and finish our exploration before we do anything in this other sector. I just want to see where it goes. Entering system. Family Newt. Okay, so... We will come back to Family Newt later. Let's get back into Family Jin. Entering system. Family Zin. Zin. Okay, it is Zin. Okay. 
let's explore to the south. I am expecting to see, find another gate over here. Going into the Xenon sector. And we have a station uh, up here, or out here. Three stations, in fact, or three, three question marks, anyway. Refine refinery. Okay. Drone component factory. And then, uh, wasn't there another one over here? Let's just look on the map. Oh, okay. It's that one there. I was going to say, I thought there was three out here. All part factory. Okay. There's the gate going to the Xenon sector. And we have... Refined goods complex. Okay. All right, we got a P there, a graphene refinery. Let's shoot off a um, thingy here. Those are all stations down there, too. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to pop in and out of this gate real quick. Um, and actually, too, I'm going to do a quick save <laughs> before we do this. I mean, we can outrun anything, but we could fly through the other gate and right into the maw of a K or something, you know, is the thing, so... Just play it safe. Okay, here we go. There are a lot of asteroids in this sec uh, se uh, sector. Blue. Danger. Hazard Entering system. Arcus Cascade. What are all the blue? arcing looking things. Oh well the gates like right there. Lots of ruined ships here. Hey we've been here before. Entering system. I take boss choice. Are our laser towers still there? They're probably all destroyed by now. Yeah, pretty much gone. <laughs> okay, let's go. We'll just blast on through and go back up to the, the splits in the space there. Whoa! The entering system, Arcus Cascade. Oh wow, check that out. Look at that planet. They totally roasted it. They glassed it. Okay, this is our gate over here. Oh, there's two gates. Is that that looks like an inactive Jump gate? Yeah, that's an inactive gate. Okay. See ya suckers. Entering system. Family Zin. Yeah, they totally wasted that planet. Wow, look at that asteroid spinning around. Yowzers. I'd hate that to try and shoot crystals off of that thing. Um, okay, so let's see here. Let's do another squirt off into this section. Don't think there's going to be anything over there, so let's go check these three stations out. Oh. 
I have to remember to blacklist these xenon sec uh, sectors too. Turret component factory. Okay. And some xenon. I wonder why EgoSoft did away with the um, multi-phased split voice uh, that we had in the older game. Always got a chuckle out of the way they talked. Okay, let's go check out this station next. A Chelt Aquarium. All right. Chelt meat, that's what the split like to eat. We'll head to that station next. You know, let's drop a resource probe. I'm just curious to see what's uh, in all of these roids here. Wow, look at that. This is a resource-rich sector. We, we might need to send some miners up here. We'll have to send them the long way, though. There's a jump gate. Oh, split equipment dock. Yeah, we want to... Definitely want to drop a satellite there. Is this the same gate we went through before? No, that's a new gate. Oh, nice. Okay. Even better. So we'll come up here with our our fleet and start killing some xenon and getting in good with these guys. Civilian ship B. Our satellite in the usual location here, right underneath the dock. I hear a data leak, but I'm not interested in those right now. Okay. Nice. All right, let's um, let's take a look. I'm gonna point my nose north and just do uh, one more scan here just in case because we did find those stations way off to the south nothing else is really showing up there so okay let's go through this gate System family crit. Family what? Crit? Crit? Crit. The system was once home to the ferocious family NG. Mm, NG? I remember them from the old ones, uh, from the old games. Allies to the Patriarch of All Split, Ronker. Family NG had a reputation of using ruthlessly ambitious tactics to gain any advantage over their adversaries. They often rigged their ship's engines with explosive devices to inflict port. Oh, okay, let's go. I don't have anything showing up on my enemy scanner. I don't know what that was. It might have been a just a station bad guy or something. Um. Okay, so they rigged the ship's engines with explosive devices to inflict coordinated damage on their opponent's carriers when they came into range. It was not uncommon for the crew stationed on the rigged ships to be oblivious to their strategies. Incredibly successful at first, their conduct eventually alienated them from their fellow split families. When the Patriarch Zareth's fleet approached their gate, family Inji realized too late that they stood alone. They were succeeded by the family Crit, who were careful not to repeat their predecessor's mistake. They swore fealty to the new Patriarch of all split, Zyarth and made an effort to reach out to other families residing in the system. So Zyarth must be like trying to take over all of the split, but I know, I don't know the full details, but I know that I think what they're called the free families 
um, are like enemies, like there's a civil war going on or will go on or something like that. Uh, don't give me any spoilers either way, guys. I'm just telling you what I know, what little I know, but we'll find that out as the game progresses. Um, okay, anyway, let's uh, check out these other stations here. Advanced Electronics Factory. Advanced Electronics, okay. Did we do a, one of these? Stations off this direction. Unknown station. Plasma conductor factory. Or refinery. Oh, there's another gate. Weapon component for ice refinery. Ice refinery. Split defense platform. Unknown station. Field coil factory. And we have another gate here. Ooh, look at that orange sun. That's cool. All right, hold on. Let's stop here for a second. Unknown station, unknown station, unknown station. Okay, let's do a squirt off in this direction. And then we're going to go south and figure out what those other stations are. That is an orange sun, man. Doesn't look like there was anything else up to the north. Xenon spotted. P. Kill him. Shelt Aquarium. Okay. Let's see if we can pick this one up here. Unknown station. Whole part factory. And this is a solar power plant. Solar power plant. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna drop a resource probe right in the thick of all these roids here and see what we got. Lots of ice, ore, and silicon. Okay. Um, let's go this direction and do one more scan off that way before we head to the north gate. I think we've... Yeah, we've gotten all the other factories uh, that we've come across so far anyways. I see some more things uh, right off over this way, though. Next time we get to a, a station <coughs> equipment dock or wharf that we can dock at, we should resupply on resource probes and satellites and all that. Claytronics factory or refinery. Okay, cool. So there's two ore refineries in this system. And lots of ore, so this would also be a good place to send a, a miner up to. Alright, I think we've done a pretty good job of covering this place. Did we... I don't know if I, um... 
did a scan off in to the east. So let's run over there really quick and make sure there isn't anything over there that we missed. Okay, not seeing anything. System. Rise Defiance. Rise Defiance. Oh, there's a scene on. Okay. There's a station there. Seems like a pretty small sector. Oh, we got missiles coming our way. Good luck. Good luck catching us, dude. Not gonna happen. Do a scan over here. I don't want to stop and read that right now because too dangerous. Man, those missiles are still coming after us, aren't they? Those are missiles, but there's some kind of dangerous nastiness that we don't want to get mixed up with. Entering Whoa. system, family crit. Did we read this? Yeah, we did read that one. Okay, Rai's Defense. This system used to be the home of the venerable family Rai. Patriarch Rai was proud and respected ruler of, who kept his subjects in line throughout the isolation brought upon them by the gates shutting down. He maintained a tight network of allies, the most notable of which was the Patriarch of All Split, Ronkar, whom Rai served as a spy master in his expansionist campaigns. Rai could trust his patron to keep other split families from making moves against him. The secure situation changed considerably when the gates reactivated again and Rai found himself in close proximity to Xenon territory. He reached out to Ronkar for help, but he soon realized that he was on his own. Patriarch Zyarth had overthrown Ronkar and was looking to establish himself as the uncontested ruler of split society. He offered Patriarch Rai a helping hand, but only under the condition that he subject himself to Zyarth's rule. The proud Patriarch refused the offer. Instead, he mounted a, fina a final defense against the encroaching Xenon invaders. Some split subjects fled the system, looking to join the newly established free families, but most stood their ground until the very end. Interesting. Okay. Cool. So that looks to be about as far north we can go, at least, you know, going up this direction. Um, so our next, um, our next place to go is Family, family Newt, I guess. Nahoot. So, I will see you guys over here.
entering system. Family, Zin. Entering system, family, newt. Split defense platform. All right, we are now in family newt space. Look at that planet with the moon over there. That's cool. In fact, it looks like there's some lights on the moon. Maybe they've populated it. Okay, let's do a scanner ruski here. Family Newt. This sector is home to, to the Family Newt, a very powerful family that has risen to prominence only recently. They are notably uh, they are notable for displaying a very militaristic and expansionist attitude, even for split standards. They ruthlessly take over smaller families and fold them into their own military, which is ceaselessly growing. Patriarch Zyrath has arranged an uneasy alliance with Newt and heavily relies on their military backing to scare the smaller families into obedience. Many wonder if Zyrath would be able to reign in the Newt family should these underlying tensions ever explode Please to the surface. Hold. We will be scanning your inventory. Or if his reckless reliance on them as his enforcers might lead to his undoing. Very interesting. Okay. Um so let's Yeah, it shows nothing. You go. You go. You go now. Let's go uh, up this way first. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Medical supply factory. Quantum tube factory. All right. Let's um go north and do another scan, and I see another gate over there too. Oh, I've got the auto level thing on for a minute. Okay, that's a gate. Let's just pop through it real quick, see where it goes, but we will come back and finish exploring this system. Entering system, Zyarth's Dominion. Zyarth's Dominion, okay. All right, let's turn around and go back and then we'll come back here later and uh, explore it after we finish exploring the other one. Entering system, family, newt. We got a couple stations over this way. Looks like we have Rex over here, too. Come on. There we go. refiner sili silicon refinery let's head on down to here those are all stations ah. come on man There's an object there, so that's probably a gate, too. Nice. Unknown station. 
smart chip factory. Weapon Hull component. Part factory. Hall part. Unknown station. Hall part. Unknown station. Chill the crew. Okay. Let's head over here now. Actually, I'm going to go... Oh, those are outside of the, the border. Interesting. Um, let's go south and just do a scan this way. defense platform all right I think we've uncovered everything in this system let's pop through this gate and just see where it goes but then we'll come back and do that other sector that's a little further north so like I said I'll, I'll just jump in the Corvette and bring a fighter wing with me up here and we'll just pop Xenon coming through the gate into the Zyra territory and we'll get in good with them in no time. Entering system. Open market. Alright. This looks like a Talati system. It is! Alright, if we can find a an equipment dock or a wharf, we can stop and resupply here. Um, alright, so, <coughs> excuse me. Let's go check that. That's a trading station, but I don't... Weapon component factory. I don't know, can we get missiles and stuff from a trading station? Maybe we can. I don't think we can, but there's some other way to find out, I suppose. Oh, look at that. Beautiful sea green planet down there. I love it. Taladi defense platform. Is this Taladi Company or Ministry? Taladi Company, okay. We're in good with both of them, so it doesn't really matter. I love these stations. I want to make one of these, you guys. Yeah, see, we, we can't. It's an honor to have you look over. Thank you. We can't get anything from here. But you know what I do want to do is I want to go talk to the trader and buy some more uh, seminars whilst we're here. Why don't we get out of here this way? What are you? You're invisible. That's what you are. So what you guys were telling me is I could buy this guy, or not buy him, hire him, give him a one-star pilot, and then give him a two-star pilot, and that would get him almost all the way to three. Oh, 
All right, let's let's come consider that. We want to go to the trader's corner. Oh my goodness, how many traders are there? All right, we'll go see all of them. Can I help? Here you go. Okay, yeah, give me the one stars I've got. I've got plenty of the other kind. I just want the one stars. Good profit to you. Okay. Now let's go to the next. Whoa, excuse me. Uh, this trader corner. Can I help? Here you go. That's a management. Nah, we don't. Well. Yeah, I guess we can buy that. Good profit to you. Okay. Uh, this trick. Can I help? Here you go. He doesn't have any more piloting. We need to do the second guy either. Right, let's try the fourth one. Can I help? Here you go. He's got a pilot. Nice. Ship. You're the same guy, right? Yeah, you've got not quite a full star of piloting. All right, let me. I'm gonna save the game just in case I screw this up. Pohindris Yasmesos. Hebelesos, the third. I'm just going to call him Pohindris. Greetings. Buy him for 13,000. Um, uh, where do we want to put this guy? All of these fighters have pilots. I just don't know how good they are. Um, well, let's do this. Let's, um... Well, there isn't any room on that. There's probably not going to be any room on any of these guys. Who might have room? about this ship. Nope. What about station hauler? Nope. Well, if I can't find a spot for him, what the heck do I do with him? Uh, what about the elite vanguard? There we go. Okay. We'll make you the captain of the I elite. To help maximize your profits. Well, I would appreciate that. Thank you, man. All right, he's going to go take off. I know that the guy who was on the Elite Vanguard wasn't that high because I took the original pilot off and put Legacy's him in Vanguard. one of the Corvettes and actually he's probably dead. <laughs> I'm trying to think about it. I don't remember which Corvette I put him in. Kind of sucks. Okay, um, let's go here and go here. Okay, so I put him on the Elite Vanguard. No. Wait, didn't, where did I put him?
Here we go. The no. I don't remember, guys. I'm, I'm, I gotta go to bed. It's late. Ah, uh, shoot. Thought his name was Hohendris, but it, it wasn't testosterone geologist. <laughs> no, that's not right. <laughs> uh, it started with an H, so if we go here. Hendris Yeah, Elite Vanguard. That's him. Okay. So um now if we go here and we give him a basic piloting seminar. And then we give him a one star piloting seminar. <clears throat> that only got him up to oh no look at that yeah look at that that almost got him to three fantastic okay uh in piloting anyways very good yeah that was a great suggestion you guys were telling me you know, grab a pilot that's less than one star, and then you can... The ideal scenario is, is a pilot that's almost one full star, and then just give them those two seminars, and it pops them, you know, almost up to three. So that that's cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So, um, guys, I think this is probably a good place for us to wrap up this episode. Um, these exploration episodes, like I mentioned in the last one, are they're a little bit longer than normal, but... It just takes time to do this, and I hope you guys are enjoying the exploration and the lore. And it's my intention to keep going uh, at this because I want to keep opening up new territory. Now, we might, we, we're not necessarily going to uncover the entire map uh, in succession, but uh, I'd like to get some more territory uncovered. So we're going to do at least one more episode of this. It could also be that. I do, you know, the rest of it maybe on a live stream or something like that. So that way you guys can watch it optionally if you want to. Because I know for some of you this might be a little slower than what you'd like to see. Um, so, yeah. Let's, uh, before I let you go. Do not wave at the station's security cameras. Let's go Distracted here. Operators lead to Global orders. And uh, this is our blacklist. Okay, so we want, we know we want to add. Oh shit! I can't. Uh, was it Emperor's Pride? Yeah, I think it's those two are are Xenon sectors. Here, let's just look at the map again. Yeah, so we want to blacklist Emperor Emperor's Pride and. We've already blacklisted Tharkas Cascade, so we don't have to worry about blacklisting that place. And I think everything else is okay for the time being uh, for our traders to go through. But we've uncovered quite a few uh, of the uh, Zyarth Patriarchy systems. And like I said, it won't take long at all for us to... We'll, we'll just go take a, a small fleet and we'll hover uh, right, right around this gate here and we'll just pop the xenon when they come through and we'll get in good with them very quickly and then we can start using their equipment because i got uh, the zyar patriarchy has some really nice ships and stuff from what i understand uh but what we'll do uh in the next episode is uh we have to go up to zyar's dominion and finish exploring that and then we'll explore open market and then I'm assuming, I'm hoping that there's another gate, you know, that will allow us to keep going east uh, and keep exploring, you know, basically these northern sectors. Uh, okay, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.